Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to talk about the siege in Amur, this time fought between four countries. On one side was Belgium and France against the combined forces of Germany and Austria-Hungary, located in Namur, Belgium on August 20th to the 25th, 1914. After German General von Bülow's victory at Liege, the German second and third armies churned towards Namur. Von Bülow believed this should be an even easier victory as the Belgians were outgunned 107,000 German soldiers against 37,000 Belgian defenders. What von Bülow did not know was the Belgians were holding out for help from the French 5th Army. General von Bülow began a slow probing movement on the defenses. He was trying to determine the extent of the defenses and how to handle them. The Germans had learned dearly from their prior exposure to the Belgian fortresses at Liege. On August 21st, von Bülow had heard of French reinforcements approaching and decided to distract them by splitting off part of the German 2nd Army to attack Charleroi. This was partially successful as the French 5th Army then only sent the 45th Brigade to help defend Namur while it sent the rest of its troops to Charleroi. General von Bülow then ordered an artillery attack on the town based on the tactics that worked at Liege by using the largest artillery available. This included the 420mm siege howitzers known as the Big Bertha. The Belgians attempted to reply with their own artillery, which amounted unfortunately to very little back on the German lines. Then the Belgians followed up with two counterattacks with their infantry, also with no success. Two days of bombardment had started to collapse the fortress on August 23rd. German Lieutenant General von Pluskow, the 11th Corps commander, was ordered to attack. General Pluskow asked for a delay, asked for the forts to be reduced to ruins before they moved forward, but his request was denied. During his move forward, some fighting had begun. But at 11.15 a.m., the Belgian defenders stopped firing. With an unexpected quickness, the battle was over. The Germans found out that the Belgian and French command had ordered an evacuation that day, emptying the forts of defenders, allowing the Germans to enter without a fight. Total casualties for the French and Belgian forces were 15,000 men, including approximately 8,300 killed and wounded, and another 6,700 troops captured. Meanwhile, the Germans suffered much less, with a total of 900 casualties. This included 300 killed, and 600 wounded or missing. Thank you for listening and join us next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.